Less. Smaller. Less. Smaller. Less. Today we are going to compare some numbers. You are probably familiar with these signs. These on the left are inequality signs. They tell whether numbers are greater than or less than each other. The symbol on the right is an equal sign. It signifies that two numbers are equal or equivalent to each other. It's very likely that you've seen far more equal signs than inequality signs. This expression here reads five equals five or five is equal to five. This expression reads eight equals eight or eight is equal to eight. Let's start using those inequality signs. Zero is less than five. One is less than five. Two is less than five. Three is less than five. Four is less than five. On all of the previous inequality examples, you see that the inequality sign opens up toward the five, which is greater, and points toward the smaller number. That brings us to five equals five. Now we're moving into numbers larger than five. Six is greater than five. Seven is greater than five. Eight is greater than five. Nine is greater than five. And 10 is greater than five. Here is a picture to show how numbers are organized in a straight line. On one end, the smaller end, you start with zero, and on the larger end, we're ending with 10. Directly in the middle, our halfway point between zero and 10 is five. Numbers six, seven, eight, and nine are between five and 10 and are larger than five. Numbers one, two, three, and four are between zero and five but smaller than five. They are less than five. This actually makes a pattern. Between every multiple of 10, you'll see that five is directly between the two numbers that end with zero and the numbers that are larger than five end with six, seven, eight, or nine, and the ones that are smaller end with one, two, three, or four. Between 30 and 40, numbers 31, 32, 33, and 34 are less than 35. And between 30 and 40, numbers 36, 37, 38, and 39 are larger or greater than 35. Let's view this overall pattern on a graphic. On this chart, you'll notice that the column directly in the middle, halfway between both sides, all the numbers up and down the column have a five in the ones place. On the right side, the very right side, we have multiples of 10, so they all end with zero or have zeros in the ones place. On the left side are the previous multiples of 10, which all have zeros in the ones place as well. It looks to me that if you set up the numbers from each multiple of 10 to the next multiple of 10, in every row, the numbers that are on the left side of the five are less than five, and the numbers that are on the right side of five are greater than five. Less, smaller, less, smaller.
smaller. Less.